Hi, everybody. So let me start off by apologizing if you uh, hear any echo. <clears throat> Today I'm coming to you from my office in downtown San Francisco, California, where it's the middle of summer and it's cold. I got three layers on. That's just how it is. So what's important here? Back to working on the Laundrons. So I've finished the upper Laundrons. These are now the lower ones. So these are basically going to sit um, at the very bottom edges of your fuselage and it has the uh, engine mount bracket for the lower parts. I believe we were working on these last time. And here you can see me. So there I'm doing some uh, the pop riveting. Uh, there's an interesting pattern on the side. Uh, I mean, you do a lot of rivets. It's kind of like the upper Laundrons, where you attach the engine mount is, is very secure, and actually have you use a few Cherry Max rivets. Now, I talked about Cherry Max rivets, uh, rivets before. They are very challenging to pull. They're very tough. Uh, but I did notice, going back and looking at some uh, builds, or some build sites online, uh, that uh, these brackets weren't always that way. Older builds used all solid aluminum rivets. So, I don't know if there was some, some cracking or something, or they just wanted to make it a little bit stronger. Uh, I was talking with an A&P yesterday, and, he's, and he was telling me just, you know, how truly strong those Cherry Max rivets are. And, th and they are. Anyone that's ever tried to take one out will know what I mean. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's, um, just like the upper Laundrons, there's a little bit of work to do on the bottom ones. Uh, basically, there's... Uh, you're going to cut off a lot of material, which you can see me do. Actually, you can't see me because the damn aircraft spruce tote bag is in the way. I picked up that bag at the AOPA event, uh, which I shall rant about in a couple of videos from now. Uh, yeah, so it's just a lot of filing down. Um, once you've got all of these things ready, uh, it will be time to... And this is something I was alluding to last week is that it will be time to attach the side skins. Now, I don't mean just in some, oh, look at this, it, it actually fits, let me just go ahead and attach it and pretend kind of way. It's more of the instruction number one, attach skins. Attach them everywhere, and we do. So let's see. Uh... Yeah, it's Wednesday, and let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in four days I'll leave for Oshkosh. I am very excited. Looking forward to getting to see it all again. Six years. It's been six years. I've actually, it's funny, so I've got, uh, I've got a few of my old uh, Oshkosh t-shirts. I'm going to bring some, wear some with me. The ones I bought six and seven years ago. Still some of my favorite shirts. You've seen many of them. So there I'm doing a little countersinking, I think. Yeah, that's a countersinking bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, don't forget that both of these giant Laundrons that you've been working on uh, are going to attach one to the engine mount. Uh, so there's going to be a big 3 8 inch bolt that goes through. Uh, and then it will also be attached to the side skins. And since all the side skins are dimpled, Everything that goes along the outside is either dimpled or countersunk. Well, not everything. So where the wings go, you don't countersink or dimple anything because why bother? Uh, but everywhere else you have to countersink. <laughs> and there it is. So there's the there's the skin. Finally pulling it out. And getting all the vinyl off. And just like every other single piece that Van sends, it fits perfectly. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So you'll see that I've got the uh, fuselage still up on the block. So those wood blocks are perfect because I can put them um, just right. I can find the, like the, the best cradle point, I guess is what I'm saying, for the fuselage. Because, you you know, it's, it's kind of bowed on the bottom. So you want it to have a little curve. And you don't want to put stress on it either to try to make the curve too much or try not to curve it enough. So those those blocks do a really good job. You you kind of find a nice little balancing point. Uh, anyway, so yeah, got the side skins on. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll be doing in the next video uh, because 
time has been weird and I've been forgetting my camera now and then and I'll I'll note when that happens and you know apologize profusely as I do so thank you for joining me see you soon